They're using the Rat King body again. Haven't we seen this a hundred times? Hey friends, welcome back to Toy Lips. I'm Dylan and we are going to make this another Turtle Tuesday with the NECA Ninja Turtles cartoon styled pizza monster. Pretty stoked on this thing. I pre-ordered it off the NECA store website when they ran those open pre-orders. Thank you, NECA. Checking out the box here, it's styled like the old VHS tapes. It is fantastic. Commissioned new designs, um, designs all over the thing. On the back, they actually do a decent read-up, a breakdown of the character and sort of an overview of that episode even. And it, it lets you know what the accessories are even. And, and, and that's, I mean, that's great. That's about the best I've seen from anybody in a long time for as far as a description goes. Especially a lot of these NECAs, it's just that boilerplate stuff about the turtles themselves, no matter the character. So this is a nice change. This is cool. Enough about the box, tearing into this sucker. Knowing of the turtles' love for pizzas, the Shredder and Krang scored these monster eggs from Dimension X, put them on a pizza, things went wrong, they ended up being delivered to April, and they escaped into the sewers, where they mutated into 15-foot creatures that the turtles had to throw down with. They also appear in the video games, and they are obviously inspired by the Alien series Xenomorphs. How fun. Right out of the package, this is a sweet piece. These bright, bold yellow and uh, the other cartoon colorations and design work here with the black lines and shine on the high points looks very convincing, very accurate to the cartoon. Right up here, you get this really nice face and the hinged jaw. These teeth are all individually sculpted, a little bit softer. There's a tongue. And you can see to the back of the mouth there. Very, very cool. Sculpted way back in there. Jaw is a separate piece. The paint is really clean all over this thing. You know, they've done the little cartoon two-tone, darker yellow on the back. It looks really good. Down here at this neck, all of these lines, This is all this detail is sculpted and then accentuated with the deep, deep lines. And you're going to see that pretty much all over the thing, except on the hands. The hands are just the solid yellow, but they have these nice claws and the black lines bordering them. And again, the paint is really clean almost everywhere you look. I'm really happy with that. Down the thighs here, you get more of that high point shine, a little bit on the knee, and the tail as well. Nice little ridge. And these, again, these look like they may well be, say, hand-painted or something. The aesthetic of this thing is, is just fantastic. This is a really cool-looking creature. Makes a fella want three or four of them. I remember that episode fondly, but he is just as, if not perhaps more notable from the appearance these things make in the video game, in the sewers, leaping out of the water. And I'm sure we'll get, like, a cartoon repaint or a video game repaint, rather, of these things. It would be something easy to do, but it would it would be just as easy to blend some of these in with that setup. I think he looks great. Very menacing. Great big display piece that would really pop on your shelf. Crusty creature articulation coming at you from the top down. You get this uh, nice phallic head shape here. Ridged, ribbed, and uh, nicely detailed, of course. Now the jaw right away is hinged. We'll come all the way open like this. And come all the way closed. Nice savage underbite looking real good. The head is uh, on a ball peg. Rotates all the way around on this neck here. And the neck is its own independent piece. So you get all this nice looking backwards for leaping forwards. And looking down because he is like 15 feet tall. You know. So of course that, that neck is just pegged in as well. It will rotate all the way around. Arms are on ball joints. You can see they're sticking way out here, but it is his sort of bony frame. There may be a little xenomorph influence there, of course. So these will come up this far, and no further. Do not break your NECA toys. Rotates all the way around, and it has their special little double-jointed elbow. How they do, it's a fully separate piece. It's, just a th it's like a three-part staff, except it's an arm, a three-part arm. So you can get that to come all the way up like this. It only looks a little weird, but they're cartoon characters. It's very it's very Simpsons-esque, right? Um, but that piece being independent, it's an independent single-jointed piece on each side, basically. So it'll, like, rotate all the way around on, on each of those. And that that is nice. 
Mm, I might be lying to you about that down here. I think it's double into the thing. It just comes up. Okay. Wrist is pegged in and twist, twist, twists. You get a diaphragm cut here and that's just going to be pegged in as well. He can't, he can come crunch forward a little bit for hunching over and back you're a little restricted because of the way this plate comes all the way over like that. So not much past straight up and down, which a little more there would be nice for the leaping forward poses, but you still get some really good maneuverability. Coming down here, nothing at the waist. Uh, legs are on ball pegs here. And then it has its own special hinge at the thigh. So in lieu of a thigh cut, you do get a little bit of something. Thigh cuts are always cool though. But that leg will come all the way out to the side like this. Comes all the way forward and back. And you get that double knee, very similar to the arm style. Comes up a decent amount, runs into this fin. Down here at the foot, it is hinged. Comes forward this far. Back this far. And it doesn't really have a rocker per se. What you have is it's like pegged sort of at an angle into the foot. So you can pivot it on that. That's just, that's where you want to be really careful with these things. And of course this tail is just socketed right in. So that will move all the way around. And if you look, it has little relief holes here for a bendy wire. Very nice, very nice. All right, going over the accessories. He comes with a few choice cuts here. Not a whole lot, but he is a lot of plastic. Uh, very nice here. You get you get the little hatchling version, as though he's just hatched from his egg. Real suspicious looking meatball off of the pizza, running wild. You get one of those. Really nice detail on the thing too. Sculpted really well. Some black and white paint for the eyes and teeth respectively. Otherwise, it's all in this one little color. You get this nice sculpted ribbing in the tail. Down the back. That That's awesome. It's the same sculpt as the one we got with the April and Foot Soldier 2-pack, just slightly different paint. We had him riding astride this pizza. This time you get a fully hinged box. UFO pizza, and it's just a nice yellow. You can see this is hinged here. You can open this up. You can get out of it, and it has a pizza inside of there that does come right out. And that is really nicely detailed too. You can see pepperonis and peppers and the cheese, more golden at the crust, at the edge there. Crust, nice uh, black lines all the way through as they have on the figures. Some texturing on the bottom. Little bit malleable. That's great, that's great stuff. And then you get uh, Krang's creature control device right here. Sweet little nod from the actual episode, and it is sculpted and painted really well. Pretty thrilled about this. So, standing the old Crazy Legs pizza morph up about as straight as I can, he is in the neighborhood of 9 inches. Uh, mind, if you've got this thing in hand, do you understand unbending the legs a little more, orienting them just so. They could really use a upper thigh cut, yes. And the orientation of the head, of the head kind of all, they all affect this in, in some way. And oh no, should I not have touched him? It's wonderful, he's wonderful though. Somewhere around nine inches, <laughs> best I can do. Here it is next to Shredder and Krang, the creeps responsible for the creature's incursion. And the Turtles' more traditional tune antagonists, Bebop and Rocksteady. And then a couple of these two cool toon Turtles, Raphael and Leonardo. To finish off the foursome, we have the video game deco Donatello and the sizzling style guide Michelangelo. Alright, it's Channel 6's own April O'Neil and the battle-damaged, smashed foot soldier. Along with both versions of the Pizza Monster Hatchling. The one on the left came with April and has extra paint in the teeth. 
from NECA's movie line, we have Raphael and Razar from the first and second movie, respectively. Bussin' respectively. In the same 7-inch scale, but from McFarlane Toys, we have Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher 3. And then we have the DC Multiverse movie-worthy Wonder Woman. He really wants you to look at that head. Super proud. And finally, for 6-inch scale, we have the Marvel Legends 2 Emo for Pizza Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee, mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. Wade needs something to wash down all those funny-looking meatballs. Ah, what the hell. How about a classic 5-inch comparison? From the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line, circa 1989, we have Krang in his walker and the Rat King. The sculpts on these were just phenomenal, right? Just We'll just take an extra second. Just kind of admire this with sculpted bones and rats and crap all over him. And these were just one-offs too, you know? They couldn't reuse this for somebody else. Give you a different character. Like, damn it, they're using the Rat King body again. Haven't we seen this a hundred times? In the final breakdown here, I want to say I'm really pleased with this figure. He looks fantastic. This is sort of a... Deep cut isn't necessarily the right word. It was just a one episode deal. But, but again, I think this character endures mostly due to the video games. Um, it, it is a cool addition, and something you want maybe a few of for a, a proper display would be killer. I think the look and the feel of it are, are just right. I would ding it some for the articulation, though. I would like to see more. Butterfly shoulders would be killer, but mostly it's the stuff going on with the legs. I want to see an upper thigh cut. I would like to see those joints a little tighter. You got to balance it just so. Otherwise, it, it'll, the legs will just flop and he'll fall over. Whatever they've done with the feet, I also don't enjoy that. It makes it seem like like you're going to break the thing. Just try to figure out regular like Marvel Legends style rocker ankles, please. Accessories are a little light, but they are super appropriate and awesome. I would like to see these things come with some kind of stand, but you know, I make my own stuff. So don't don't put stands in and jack up the price on us. I think this thing is really solid. I would give it like a four out of five. I never did see one in the wild because again, it's one of those where people would buy multiples probably and Ninja Turtle stuff being what it is. I did pre-order four of them off the NECA site actually, two, two rounds of two pre-orders. And I got two of them and I did not get the other two. A bit disconcerting because they sent the receipt in one box with the Ace Duck and Mutagen Man and they're like, you got two of those. You get, it said it had two of the pizza monsters in there and there was not. And it's not like the box was big enough to accommodate those anyway. So they know. And I talked to them and they said they'd be on the way just separate. But it's been like almost two weeks now. So you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe. I'll look into it before I harass him again. But I'm happy to have it. I have one more. I may open him. We'll see how the display goes. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you guys like this. If you did, hit that button. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave a comment. Check me out on Insta. And I am legit gonna go get some pizza. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. I got bigger than my lips. Toys that I'm touching, I don't want to put them down. I still don't want to talk about them. Yes, fresh. Smell the plastic that I crave. I want to shop. I can't be having Bruce Banner. I'm Dr. Robert Banner. I'm Bruce Jenner. And you can call me after dinner. We can talk comic books, but we're here to talk toys. Be proud. Make noise.